rang twice. What do you want? Good afternoon. Is, is Mr Blunt here? There's no Mr Blunt here. This is Colonel Blunt's house. I'm sorry, I think the Colonel is expecting me to lunch. Nonsense. I'm Colonel Blunt. <laughs> Yes? Would you mind awfully if I could just telephone to the station for a taxi cab? I'm not on the telephone. Why don't you come in? It's absurd to walk to the station in this 15 miles, for God's sake. Are you mad? Come about the vacuum cleaner, have you? No. Hang your hat and coat here. I hope you haven't got wet. Shame you didn't bring your vacuum cleaner. Can't be helped. How are you? <laughs> Do sit down. I must read this cable. I'd quite forgotten it came this morning. Oh, dear. Don't think me discourteous, but I'm afraid it's impossible for me to ask you to luncheon. I have a guest coming on intimate family business. It's some young rascal who wants to marry my daughter. Well, I want to marry your daughter, too. What an extraordinary thing. Are you sure? Well, that's the telegram is about me. What does it say? Engaged Mary Adam Symes. Expect luncheon Nina. Are you Adam Symes? Yes. Well, why didn't you say so before? Since we're going on about vacuum cleaners. How are you? This is Florin. Lay a place for Mr. Symes. Symes. Better give him his own decanters, Mrs. F. Hmm. Can't be passing up and down all the time. So you're the young fool who's going to marry my daughter. I very much hope so, sir. How much money have you got? Well, I had a thousand pounds last night. I gave it all to a drunken major. What do you do that for? Well, I, I hoped he'd put it on Indian Runner for the November handicap. Never heard of the animal. When will you next have some money? Well, when I've written some books. You see, I owe Lord Monomark for an advance, and until I get it written, I rather hope, well, we rather hoped that you might Help us. How could I help you? I've never written a book in my life. No. We wrote a letter to the Times once, never published. We thought that, well, that you might give us some money. You thought that, did you? I think that's an admirable idea. I don't see any reason why I should. How much do you want? Well, you know. Would a thousand pounds be any help? Yes, it would. Indeed. We'd both be terribly grateful. Not at all, my dear boy. What was your name again? Adam Symes. Oh. Fenwick Symes. You were Fenwick Symes at Oxford. My father. He wasted all his money on horses, too. Or was it women? No! Books! Eligible men who did the 